I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the process of realization of the denominator in case of complex numbers. The question here is find the real and imaginary parts of 3 minus 5i divided by 2 plus 3i. Now to, to separate the real and imaginary part we should make the denominator real and that process is called realization right so let's see how so we are given complex number 3 minus 5i divided by 2 plus 3i now if we multiply and divide this complex number by the conjugate of the denominator then see what happens that is to say well multiply and divide 2 plus 3i by 2 minus 3i now 2 minus 3i is conjugate of this denominator 2 plus 3i so when you do so denominator becomes 2 plus 3i times 2 minus 3i that is 2 square minus 3i square right you could expand using distributive property and then 2 times minus 3i and 3i times 2 will cancel out giving you this result right or you could use the formula which is a plus b times a minus b is equal to a square minus b square is that correct you could do it or you could do distributive property which we are going to do in the numerator so 3 times 2 is 6 3 times minus 3i is minus 9i minus 5 times 2 uh, is 10 and then i minus minus becomes plus 5 times 3 is 15 i times i is i square so that gives us 6 minus 9 and minus 10 minus 19i i square is negative 1 so we could write this as minus 15 in the denominator we get 4 plus 3 square is 9 since i square is minus 1 the sign changes to plus right so we know i square is equals to minus 1 so we have used that so this sign becomes positive now let's combine the terms in the denominator so what we get and also the numerator 6 minus 15 right so that means uh, minus 9 minus 9 and minus that is minus 19 i is already given to us and in outer becomes 13 which you would also write as uh, minus 9 over 13 minus 19 over 13 i and now we have separated the imaginary and the real part we could write this as a complex number z equals to minus 9 over 13 minus 19 over 13 i so in this case as you can see the real part is minus 9 by 13 so that's the real part minus 9 over 13 and the imaginary part is minus 19 over 13 i correct so that is how you can separate real and imaginary part and this process which we applied here is called realization it is very similar to rationalization which you learned in real numbers So in this we use the conjugate of denominator to get the denominator as a real right so we use this conjugate so we use the conjugate which is right here to get the realization of the denominator and that helps us to separate real and imaginary part from such expressions i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best